Stay tuned for the latest message excerpt from Impact Church. All right. So, Holy Spirit, thanks. 1 Corinthians 2, 10 to 16, Holy Spirit thinks as we received not a spirit of the world, but the spirit was from God. How that we might know things. The spirit of God, the mind of Christ comes in us and the spirit is there and we can ask the spirit, what do you think about that? I mean, what do you think about this situation? What do you think about the Anglican church coming to us and saying we should buy the church? What do you think about that, Holy Spirit? Is that, a, is that something that you desire to do? And you know what he says? Well, what do you want to do? I think it'd be pretty cool. He says, ah, I think so too. Because that'd be helpful for them. Don't you think it would be neat? Don't you think that'd be a pretty cool witness for one church to buy another church just so that church could still have church? I think that'd be pretty awesome. I think so too. Hmm. Well, let me have a board meeting and talk to all the rest of the people in the church first, eh? Okay, whatever you think. Okay. Do you talk to them like that? You should. You should talk to them like that every day. And you know what? You'll hear his voice. And the more you do it, you become very, very aware of his presence in you. I don't, can't believe how many people spend zero time talking to the Holy Spirit. He's your advantage. It's amazing. So he thinks. He also has a will. It says in Acts 16, 6, see, they decided they were going to go to Asia. They went to bed, went, okay, tomorrow, guys, off to Asia. But when they got up, it says, now, when they had gone through Pergia and the region of Galatia, they were forbidden, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. Wow. So the Holy Spirit exerted his will and said, guys, not Asia right now. You got to go over here. Have you ever felt that in times where you're going, I'm going this way, Lord? And I'll say, if you're like, Aah! that's not good right now, is it? No. It's not that it's bad. It's just that I need you to do this. Okay. I've had open doors. I was offered a church in Brisbane, Australia. Not recently. This was about 15, 20 years ago. And they called me from Australia. I said, Carl, would you consider coming to Australia? And I said, I would, but I'll only come if it's the church is in Brisbane. He said, I'm not kidding. The Carl, the church is in Brisbane. I went, oh, my God. I want to live on the Gold Coast. I want to learn to surf. But I think, I don't think God wanted me to surf. I was never very good at it. You know, I talked to the Holy Spirit about it, and he said, yeah, you know, that's, that seems to be an open door, but it's not for you, Carl. I went, bummer. And sometimes I've had conversations like that where it's not that it's a bad thing. It's just God says, my purpose for you is in this realm right here, and I want you to stay here. And you say, I'm good with that. I'm good with that because he'll reveal his will to you. He'll tell you what to do. How many are in this church because God told you to be here? People come to me and they say, should I go to your church? I, go, I don't know. Should you? If you come because I make you come, then I got to keep doing my song and dance to make you stay. Are you still happy with me? If you're here because of some song and dance, it'll get tired. It'll get ugly. Right? And I'm not going to perform for you. You got to know where God wants you to be. And if he wants you here, you can't leave. If he doesn't want you here, you can't stay. What? But I know he wants you here. And he wants a lot more people here. And some people are successfully resisting the will of God right now. It's unbelievable. Anyways. Enough of that. Say faster, pastor. Number three, the Spirit has emotions. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you are sealed in the day of redemption. Don't choose to act independently of Him. You know, the Spirit feels things. The Spirit, you know, there's, 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 this, but you know what? You can't harm the Spirit in such a way that He says, I'm just so ticked off with you. I'm not going to talk to you today. I'm so mad at you. I could spit. <laughs> He's never like that. Never, never like that. But you know what He does? There's times He's going, oh, that was rough, man. Oh hey, come on, let's talk, because that was weird. You're never going to break relationship with him. He's always going to pursue you and love you and chase you down. Doesn't mean he doesn't feel stuff, because he does. But, you know, he always feels like he loves you. He always feels like he's nuts about you. And he always feels like he's for you. And he can't live without you. He's so good. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! hallelujah. Man, pastor, you're so needy. It's unbelievable. Yes, I am, so keep it coming. All right, let me talk to you now about her. He's your helper, all right? So he's, he's God, he's a person, and he's your helper. Hallelujah. Jesus. I tell you, the people here last night, they were here for two hours, so it took me so long to get to here, but it was good. It was good. Okay, he's our helper. Here it is. He works with us, two things he works with us, and his work with us described by Jesus. Romans 8, 26, 27, the spirit helps. Say helps. Helps. Say helps. 
That's a translation of a Greek word, helps. The Spirit helps in our weakness. The Spirit himself makes intercession with groanings which cannot be uttered. The Spirit also searches the hearts and knows the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession with the saints according to the will of God. So the Spirit helps. The Spirit makes intercession. The Spirit is groaning on your behalf and the Spirit is searching out the things of God to reveal them on your behalf. So the Spirit is helping you. Let's talk about that help. The word helps is the Greek word. We say helps. It's only got one syllable, but that same word in Greek is sunantilambanomai. I don't know how we got helps out of that, but we did. Obviously, a very compound word, meaning a lot of things. So sunantilambanomai means to lay a hold of with, to strive to obtain with others, to help in obtaining or taking hold of another. Soon. Anti lambano is the three primary words in that. The partnership, joint effort, rage against anti, like antifa, like antichrist. There's rage, there's rage, there's filled with rage against, and there's lambano, which means both at the same time. It means to bring something to, but to remove something from. It brings things to you, but it removes things from you all at the same time. So you've got a partnership with Almighty God. He's passionate about this partnership, and he's passionate to bring to you the things that God desires and to remove from you anything that is not of him. And so you have a helper and a partner who is working hardcore on your behalf. So let's look at what he's doing on your behalf. Position, soon is position, partnership coming together. They're convinced by the power of miraculous signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit. In this way, I've fully preached the gospel. Paul says, he said, the kingdom's not a matter of talk, it's of power. The kingdom is not logos, it is dunamis. When the kingdom is in manifestation, there should be the power of God. And Paul said, I, I fully preach the gospel because the Holy Spirit was partnering with me and there were miraculous signs and demonstrations that God was with me. You see, I preach, God shows up. There's a partnership, there's power there, there's joint effort. You see, it's not, oh, Holy Spirit, do it, do it, do it. Oh, it's Holy Spirit, what are we doing? Holy Spirit, how do we engage the kingdom today? How do you and I work together to bring into expression your purpose for my life? God never does anything that is in regard to you without your participation. So if you think that I'm just, I'm just like, I like that song where it says I'm praising and I'm worshiping and I'm just standing still. But you are praising and worshiping and you are on purpose. Standing still is also an activity. Because a lot of people have a hard time standing still. What's my partner? Sometimes your partnership with God is just stand there. Stand there. Shut up and stand there. And then the Holy Spirit will do something. But often, there's partnership. There's you speaking. There's you acting. There's your involvement and your engagement. God always partners with you, not without you. So you need to engage with him. It denotes partnership. Give me another one quick, quick. Anti-rage. The Holy Spirit vents an attitude of rage or violence towards your enemies. I mean, he's he's violent to bring into manifestation your priestly kingship, your reign, and your rule. He is passionate to elevate you and exalt you and manifest who you are. And he's not just, you know, I'd really like to do this. He wants to with passion. Isaiah 59, 19, the punctuation is wrong. It is wrong, wrong, wrong. Not just in translations, but it's wrong because the original doesn't have the comma there. The comma is not at the end of flood. It's when the enemy comes in, comma. When the enemy comes in, comma, like a flood. Like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. See, it's not the enemy coming in like a flood. The enemy encroaches on you in any little way like a flood. The Holy Ghost is going to rage against that situation and bring you through. So there's a passion. There's partnership. There's passion. There's purpose. Whatever God's purpose is in your life, he's committed to bring it forth. He's committed to remove the junk, and he's committed to bring you into all the benefits, all the favors, all the good things of God that you need to move in the fullness of God he's going to bring to you. Saul, it says, when the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, he prophesied he was turned into another man. I know that's old covenant stuff, but that's what the Spirit of God does. When the Spirit of God comes on you, you are a new creature. You're a new creation. You are empowered in a new way. Something powerful takes place when the dunamis of heaven comes on your life. (sighs) Say faster, Pastor. 
All right, we're doing really good, though. Trust me, trust me. All right, supernatural partnership, intercession. Big, long word there again. But what it means is on behalf of and with, he will hit the mark. So whatever it is, he's going to hit the mark for you. I mean, you're not going to wonder. He's going to hit the mark. He's going to specifically, in a detailed way, hit the target on your behalf. Because when he makes intercession for you, when he does, I got two intercessors, the Holy Ghost and Jesus. I got a few others. I got several people in the world who send me emails and say, I pray for you every day, and I'm so grateful. And I'm grateful they do because I can use all the prayer I can get, and it's substantial because you can stand on it. But I got the Holy Spirit is praying for me, and he's praying the very will of God, and the Holy Spirit is always hitting the mark on my behalf.